Meanwhile, the London Metropolitan Police has arrested a Nigerian national, Ike Kwerimadu, and his wife Beatrice Waneka Kwerimadu for conspiring to bring a child to the United Kingdom for organ harvesting. While the description given by the police matches that of the former Deputy Senate President Ike Kwerimadu and his wife, neither the lawmaker nor his heads have commented on the development as of the time of publishing this report. But the police added that both have been reminded in custody and will appear at Uxbridge Magistrate Court. The investigation was launched after detectives were alerted to potential offences under modern slavery legislation in May 2022. We're now being joined by a legal practitioner, Evan Tufeli. Glad to have you on the news tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Now, what was your first reaction when this news broke out? Well, when the news broke out, I felt uh, very, very bad because uh, the person involved is um, a high class citizen of Nigeria. And then the allegations leveled again, and the wife are quite tough. Uh, uh, from the records, we heard that uh, there was misrepresentation on the Page of the person in question who they took to the UK for the purposes of uh, nation uh, organ for the doctor of uh, Ike Koremadu who was dialysis in the UK. Now, organ donation is not a problem outrightly, but the way and manner with which you go about to determine whether it turn out to be uh, uh, if uh, there is uh, a death, there is misrepresentation has been alleged, and the boy was taken over and then promised a better life, only for him to be presented before uh, the hospital for opposite of the organ testing. The doctor rejected me. Uh, the, the report was that. What found out, or the what found out, I was years old, against 21 years old that was presented at, okay. at the beginning. Now, if that's true, because a lot of it is true, it means that uh, perhaps the former deputy senate president wife uh, had an approach on the, the UK criminal law in the prohibition of slavery and the rest of it. Um, why is the development is um, uh, safe to make comments as we uh, pointed out in today? Because they were home before the old bridge today, and uh, their council uh, made the application for their bail for what was in the bail and joined the case on the 7th of July. So, what it only means by implication of law is that. Uh, Hopes the head of the five will be posted to the seventh of the uh, Let me also add that uh, both parties have a uh, legal representation. Okay. So, what right. the prosecution was saying before the court was that not only was uh, part of the boys' name, um, there were also issues of uh, uh, not being clear to the board as to what he was being uh, asked to do, that we could not into the process. So there are a lot of issues that will come out in the day. So, All right, now, very, now, what's uh, the chances uh, of uh, Ekwere Madu and his wife coming out of this? This allegation of Ogad Avistad is one out of many going on. What's the chances of them coming out of this? Well, there are chances of coming out of this is to prove that uh, there was no criminal intent okay. action. That is, if the lawyer is able to um, present the case in such a way that it does not uh, fall within the encroachment uh, uh, areas in the first appointment of slavery, because the, the United Kingdom has no tolerance for issues like this. Uh, in the United Kingdom, Probably donate uh, organs, but for the person must be of age, that is one, and then the person must consent to it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, but in this case, we're talking about where someone moved from one direction, so to speak, from one direction to the other, and then the validation of the tape was 45. So, I mean, uh, allegedly, there are some criminal implications that uh, coming out from the school, as to speak. But the chances, there are chances of coming out of this thing. Then to fit uh, the trial and to be able to, to okay, put forth a strong case of their innocence. Then so if the prosecution succeeds in incorporating them, we will have to uh, put the, the penalty that comes to okay. All right, now, this form of crime, is it billable? Is it possible for them at any point to be released on bail? Well, well, it's, it's billable, but you know, bail is at the discretion of the courts. Okay. Okay, bail is at the discretion of the judge. Um, if, if the court, in its wisdom, thinks that the parties involved may likely jump uh, bail or show up in their... That's a, yeah, the court might decide to grant bail. And if the prosecution also present a case that uh, uh, the, the suspect should not be granted bail because, uh, I mean, the defendant should not be granted bail because they may likely join bail, the court may also want to do for that. But ultimately and ultimately, cases of this nature have to the court have granted them bail. The court may have its own reason for granting them bail because the matter is actually a serious matter. All right, thank you so much, Evans Ufeli, for your contributions tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.